don't do how to's because no one should follow what I do. Uh, I will point out things I think you should know, but I will never do how to's. If you want how to's, Humble Mechanic is a great channel for how to's on R8s. But, anyways, I'm jumping into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. The other day, I had to run some errands. You know, not everything is working in the garage. Obviously, I have to run out and get some parts every now and then. ESC tuning doesn't uh, have good shipping. Actually, they suck, but that's for another story. So sometimes I order parts from other places and I ordered a bunch of parts from HPA, but I ordered them from my local dealer who is GRD Tuning. So I'm gonna flash to that day's vlog for just, you know, a minute or so to show you what I did that day. And then when you get back, I'm gonna show you what parts I actually picked up. Today we have a lot of things to do. We're taking the truck, we're running about 150 miles to different places. First off to GRD Tune. Then I'm gonna go meet up Ilya from Extelgic YouTube channel for lunch and while I'm in the area I'm stopping at Rig Bros uh, interiors and upholstery. I have the R32 seats in the truck. I want to see what it'll cost to do something, I don't know, different to them and uh, maybe fix the patches or the rips. I was going to attempt to do it myself but you know, time's running out. So let's jump in the car and see what today has in store for us. Alright guys, well I'm back home. I went to GRD Tuned, lunch with Ilya. Then the rigs bros to get my interior looked at. Now I'm gonna unload my car, throw these uh, rims and the ice ties in the back of my truck, uh, cause I need to get those mounted uh, real soon. You have probably seen the video where I took the R8 um, out in the snow. If you haven't, I'll leave that link below, but it is full of uh, salt and dirtiness. So I'm gonna back this out, give her a good old pressure washing uh, while the weather is still not freezing here. Let's see how dirty this puppy is. Focus, camera, there we go. Pretty bad. Um, yeah. Well, time to pressure wash this baby. Get her back nice and clean. <laughs> yep. Time to clean her. Alrighty. Let's foam this baby up. Almost forgot. I have this nifty tool. Let's see if it works. Let's get that salt out from underneath. Looks like it fits perfectly. So, today's project is gonna be one of these projects. So let me show you what I actually picked up. So, first thing I picked up is the HPA rear stress bar, which is right over here. The next thing I picked up is the HPA short shifter, which we're gonna be doing today. I also ordered the custom roll cage for the R32. I didn't pick this up because it actually takes 8 to 12 weeks. It's not 8 to 12 weeks yet. It says two person to install. I probably won't have two people. And the final thing I picked up is the touch motion all wheel drive programmer. It lets me have the ability to customize the settings for my Heldrex all wheel drive system. But anyways, I'll jump into that when I install it. But today, I'm gonna be working on the short shifter. And uh, you know, the R32 has blue accents everywhere. And I got a, something coming up with the interior soon, so stay tuned. But if you can see here, there's rarely anything blue in the engine. So today, we're gonna to be fixing the short shifter and 
making the engine have little blue accents. So stay tuned while we work on that. By the way, have you seen my new license plate? I don't know if that's gonna happen this year. So maybe I'll change that to Desert Racer. Anyways, let's jump into it. What I meant by putting up the engine bay is for some reason the R32 is all blue accents, which I love, but the engine is all red. Um, there's a guy in, I believe, Germany that has made molds and actually made the clips. <laughs> I got them in blue. I'll leave the link below uh, where you can get those. And then I also got the pipe. The parts are relatively cheap. It's just the, you know, $40 shipping or $60 shipping to get this stuff here. And then I already have the air filter removed because I knew my parts were coming. I'm going down there to uh, change to a short shifter. And the instructions are right here. HBA does a good job of actually putting the instructions online. You don't actually, they don't ship you with instructions. So be sure to go back online and uh, look for instructions. There is a missing uh, plastic that goes around here, which I haven't really noticed until I noticed it the other day. I know Humble Mechanic doesn't have it on. Uh, all the guys with turbos don't have it on and superchargers, but I kind of miss that and it covers up this crappy, uh, metal that is corroding so i actually ordered that from um esc tune-ins on sale right now for 180 bucks i think versus 250 where you can find it other places so that's coming but let's do this so we can jump into that anything um <laughs> especially car and all i removed all these plugs whatever they called and then these coil packs but most of the plugs are broken um so clearly this was a hobbyist car so i ordered more or oh, brand new coil packs and plugs uh 160 bucks for the coil packs not oem oem was 150 or 250 and then these plugs, I think, were two bucks or seven bucks each, marked down from uh, 22 bucks each. Or, well, you know, the replacement plugs. I don't know how hard it is to replace. But, anyways, that's not gonna stop me today because everything stops me whenever I work on my car. So, what I'm gonna do is at least replace all the blue stuff, put all the coil packs in. I removed all the coil packs. I have new spark plugs, but I'll rather wait until. Uh, I got the new coil packs to install the spark plugs. So what I'm going to do is replace all the blue or the red with blue. Um, and then I will put everything back together. Just, you know, not firm because the coil packs are pushed in pretty good because they clamp onto the plugs. And then I will move on to the short shifter. So let's do that. Ladies and gents, a uh, little common sense goes a long way. Uh, one thing one's always got to remember is just practi practically think about things. Uh, since this is a VR6, you know, the plugs go alternating. Like this one's this way, the cylinder's this way, this way, this way, this way. Don't question my hand grip. But anyways, that being said, when you look at this cylinder or plug, it is coming to towards me. So this pack or coil pack plug cover needs to point up because it has to go up. This coil pack cover over here is pointing that way, so it has to point down. So pretty simple if you don't uh, panic and, and overthink. So if you ever get caught in that scenario or any scenario like this, just sit back, think, uh and, and realize there's going to be a practical way some of the time how to fix it all right so 
HPA says I need a ratchet extension 13 mil 10 mil Phillips screwdriver wrench doesn't say what wrench and pliers so I have all of that stuff ready remove the factory uh, error box which is done oh it's double sided wonderful do some screws on the edge all about the error box which is already gone remove factory shifter I'm gonna read this and you're gonna see it in time lapse I don't do how to's cuz no one should follow what I do uh, I will point out things I think you should know but I will never do how to's if you want how to's humble mechanic is a great channel for how to's on R8s but anyways I'm jumping into this The tools required are a lot more than tools required on the instructions. Uh, I had to use a flathead screwdriver to get these funky things off. Anyways, so didn't require that. And I had to use a puller to pull this off the shaft. I stopped reading the instructions when everything was not working out. Um, but anyways, you can see why it's a short shifter. Here is where the shifter column used to be, or the shifter join used to be, and now it's gonna be moved in, depending what you want, uh, I guess, a uh, quarter of an inch to half an inch, which will change everything. But one thing I didn't do is mark how this was on the shifter. I haven't, I stopped reading the instructions, so I don't know if I should have or not, but, I guess, you know, when you do so many projects on a car, you just gotta work with it. And uh, when the shift is not working, I'll know I gotta just pull it off and adjust it a bit and put it back in. So let's put the new one in uh, and see where to go. All right, well, XNA, what I said about following instructions, I just read. Um, if you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, it's, it's not focusing here this dot the splines are different where this dot is and it and same thing on this one it says make sure to line that up so that's good as long as I line that up I'm fine so I will line that up with the shaft um, so that is correct and apparently the far hole let me just double check this far hole will give you 20% reduction in shift this close hole will give you 40% reduction in shift. Uh, I don't know about you, but that's nuts. And duh, I'm going with 40%. Because <laughs> I'm baller status and I'm a pro driver at heart. Aren't you guys all? Anyways, I got a, it came with two different nipples. One, two to put on here, I guess I gotta match it up to see which one's the same. I haven't read it, yeah, well, it's different diameter. So whatever the diameter is on here, I'm just gonna take this one, I'm gonna put it on uh, the 40% reduction, and then install this baby, and put it all back together. I keep on Apart from tearing this vehicle down, that might have been the easiest project ever I've done for you guys. So let's uh, review the most epic, easy job ever. So we replaced this with blue. Uh, I got the plastic coming next week. I got new uh, coil packs coming and new plugs, so I'll have to redo it, but it all looks cool that's what I wanted and then the short shifter is pretty easy um, two things 
Instructions on HBA short shift don't say you need a puller. Uh, you probably don't, but it's much easier with a puller. Uh, they don't say you need grease, but they recommend greasing it. So get some grease. So it's a pretty self-explanatory job. Now uh, my shifting, well, it will give me 40% quicker shifting. If I can shift 40% quicker, great. Uh, I've only driven this car 20 to 40 miles. So <laughs> I won't notice a difference. I'll just really think it's normal. But anyways, that's done. That project's done. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, next project you'll see me do will be something with the rear end, hopefully, or the interior. I'm waiting on parts for the rear end here. Um, I've ordered new splines, knuckles, whatever you want to call them back there. Because these ones are toast, bearings are destroyed in there, they rusted, I can't even get these bushings out. And I have new race bushings over there. So I've ordered new one of those. I found them on eBay, $129 a piece uh, from ECS Tuning. They're $707 a piece without all the accessories on them. So I'll be doing that. I'll be doing brakes. Um, and really, I'm going to be jumping into the aesthetics from now. I got to start getting the interior all done. The steering wheel is cocked, so I need to remove it and straighten it. Um, I need to put my mirrors back on. So, look, I have a, a, a lot to do. Let's go through this list here. Okay. Red is, or oh, pink is for done. Uh, bumper, 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 transmission, spark plugs. Blue plugs and wires. Okay, so that's really the only thing I had on the list. Uh, the list doesn't include everything because clearly I forgot. So I need to do coil packs as well. Mm, you know, you know the list. I got plenty of stuff to do. So I'll be doing these videos pretty rapidly, I believe, because uh, Wikis in the Woods is a couple of weeks away and I'm supposed to be driving this down there. Anyways. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me on this long project. Uh, I have ripped the car completely apart, so hopefully you understand why it's taking forever. But anyways, it might be educational, it might not, it might be entertainment. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you want to see more detail or less detail, or you hate the music I'm putting in or whatever. I'll take it all into consideration. If I don't like what you say, Here's what it is. If I do like what you say, I'll change. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot. Until next time. See you